I just got home from work and Carmen has got something to show me. Something she made at school. We're gonna find out what it is right now. Hello everybody, welcome back. We are so glad you guys are here hanging out with us today. Today is a beautiful sunny day here in Utah and this week they are forecasting the temperatures to get up near 60. I cannot tell you how excited this makes me because we are so excited for the warm weather and boating season to start. So 60 degree temperatures makes me super, super excited. Today I have been working around the house, deep cleaning. You guys, I deep cleaned my oven. I used the um, self clean setting which I've used twice on my oven since I've owned it in the last two years. I normally just spot clean it, but something spilled over and it was so sticky and it had got burnt on there and it was not coming off. I had no choice but to do the stinky self clean setting. So it has been doing that for the last five hours and I did not realize how bad it was going to stink. My whole house has been stinky, burning my eyes. I had to open all the windows, all the doors, fans, air it all out. But I just finished up and I'm excited to look inside and see how clean it looks and how much more I'm gonna have to wipe it out to get all that stuff that's burned on there out of the bottom of the oven. So let's take a look and see how the inside looks. Huh, not bad. Just a little bit of burnt stuff on the bottom that I'll have to wipe off once it finishes um, cooling down, but looks pretty good compared to what it was. There was like black stuff burnt all on the bottom there, something sticky burned over. So I'm super happy with how that looks. I will get that cleaned out when it um, cools down. Today after the girls get out of school, I am going to take them with me to Hobby Lobby and have them build a frame for that beautiful picture that we bought while we were in Hawaii. I'm super excited to get that hung in my basement and even though Clay could make me a frame for it, he just does not have time. So I'm gonna take it to Hobby Lobby, they're gonna frame and mat it for me and I am so excited to get it hung up in our office. Claire and I are sitting here waiting for Carmen to get out of school and I'm parked in the sun a little bit and it's actually like hot. But it feels so good. It feels so good. I am loving the sunshine. It makes me really want summer to hurry up and get here. <laughs> I know, we have like leaves because um, we made like a eco column. Yeah. And we, and we had leaves that reminded me of fall. <sighs> and I just wanted summer. Just wanted summer. What else did you guys do at school today? That's it, basically, honestly. That's it? We just made eco columns and then we did our mouse of starter. And then I read a lot and then we watched a movie and then watched a show. Awesome. That's it. The eco columns are so fun. I forgot to put soil, like some soil. So what's an eco column? Explain that to me. So it's like, I don't know for sure, but it's kind of like where you put like plants and like where they grow and stuff. Oh, so and you like, growing like your a, own plants and stuff? You know, like the one we had to take the leaders, uh -huh. like they cut up the leaders and stuff. Oh, And so we get cool. to take them home at the end of the year. Oh, cool. But uh, I think one of my worm worms is pregnant. You think? Yeah. <laughs> what makes you think that? Because it's got like four little dots in its belly. Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. If you guys know how to tell how a worm is pregnant, comment below and let us know because I think one of her worms might be pregnant. We need maybe to know. We need to worms. know this. <laughs> maybe we'll have some baby worms. Hey, Carmen. Hi. How was school? Good. Awesome. I got hovercraft. A hovercraft? Yep. Did you teach to bring it home? Yep. Oh, I can't wait to see this. And it, it's not like a hovering, it's like an air hockey table. That's still pretty cool. What? I'm so yeah. confused. Look. So last week, Carmen's teacher had them bring some supplies to school to make a hovercraft, part of their science experiment, right? Nope, just random thing. It was oh, in a book. I, be, I bet it had some sort of a learning reason to it. Not just something random. So it's made out of an old CD, a balloon, and a little soap. A little soap top. So let me see that. Oh, where's the soap top? Oh, there it is on the bottom. Okay. Okay. So what do you do? So you so, blow up the balloon, and then so what? So when it goes on floor, it like slides around like an air hockey. Table. That's see? Numbers. The air comes out of here, and so it makes it slide on the floor. Oh yeah. That'll be cool. You have to show us that when we get home. Maybe we can get some more soap things and we can make them. Yeah, they're actually really easy. You just, you need super glue to super glue or it on there. just use hot glue. Yeah, but it's a soap cap and so there's bubbles in there from me blowing it. <laughs> Should have washed it a little bit better, huh? I did, I tried 
to wash it as hard as I could, but the soap from up way up in there wouldn't come out. So oh, that's all right. That's pretty cool. I'm excited to see that when we get home. Yeah. It's really funny when it like when it goes small and it's like this big, it'll just like. <laughs> <laughs> So, so far we have found some flowers for the centerpiece on the kitchen table, something springy and bright. The kids had a couple Easter projects to do. Carmen is finding all sorts of fun stuff here. I wanna get one, they open up. They do? Yeah, and you put stuff in there. What would you put in there? My secret stuff, or? Your secret stuff. And I would actually put my perfume in it and just in it every morning. <laughs> Can I? No. I think it's just for decoration. No. You know, obviously you just have to put your plates. No, mommy, look, watch. No, but you can actually just sit in it. Oh, you that's see it after cool. Have yeah. Carmen, let's go. You guys all need to take note of Carmen's ponytail. She's very creative. This is her extra mask she took to school today, and she used it to tie her hair back. <laughs> very resourceful, Carmen. I mean, I could have just used Claire, Claire Spunky, but... You could have, but I mean, why but not? She was in class, and I was at recess, and I was like, what do I do? All right, let's go back here till they do the frames. So I got the frame that I want all picked out. I went with this skinnier black frame that's metal. They're not gonna put any matting on it. I was gonna do matted, but then the guy was like, oh, it would look better without matting. So we decided no matting, just a thin black frame. It's gonna take about two weeks to get it done. I'm so excited to see it. It's gonna be so, so pretty. Now that we have the frame shopping out of the way, we're in the craft aisle. The girls love to come over here and check things out. We found a Baby Yoda planter that she can paint, design a planter. Oh. Plus I can put my new plant in there. Well, you just planted your plant. I know. You have to get a different plant. It's kind of cool though. You doesn't can, even really you need can a plant. Paint it and make it your own planter. Yeah. Now that you know how to plant plants, huh? Yeah. And it's then awesome. Maybe I can just not like I can just take that plant in the pot and just put it in here. Yeah. Claire, what did you find? Cactuses? She's gonna pick cactuses. Well, all right, let's. We also got bunnies to make. Yeah, I know. I showed those. You did? Those are going to be fun. Yeah. This little pillow is a sneak peek of a fun project that we have coming up. Yep. Huh, Carmen? Yeah. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. We've made it home from shopping and I have got the oven completely cleaned out so now I can quickly throw dinner in the oven. I think we're going to do a frozen lasagna from Costco tonight. Something quick and easy. So here's the oven. It hasn't shined like this since the day we bought it. Quite happy with it. Turned out beautiful. See how clean that is, Carm? Yeah. Hasn't been that clean forever, it, it huh? Wasn't, I could fit in there. You could fit in there? Yeah. It's probably not the spot you want to hide in. Yeah, but. It's kind of dangerous. I could. You could, yep. If it was like a, such thing as like a cold oven. <laughs> All right, let's get dinner started. I just got home from work and Carmen has got something to show me, something she made at school. We're gonna find out what it is right now. It's what is it, Carmen? A hovercraft. A hovercraft. So. For this, you'll need a CD, and then you color it and you can write your name on it. I colored this side, and then I colored that side. So pretty. Was there anything like, anything on the CD? Like, did somebody yes. bring you some songs or anything? Um, I'm pretty sure it was Kenny McChesney. Kenny McChesney? Yeah. <laughs> you sure it wasn't just Kenny Chesney? Oh yeah, Kenny Chesney. <laughs> Kenny McChesney. All right, so you got a CD, you got this little piece on it. It's a lid. Oh, a lid, go like a water bottle. Yeah. No, it's not to a water bottle, it's to a soap bottle that I got from home, so. Oh really, okay, so you just glued it onto this CD. And then you take the balloon, put it over the lid, 
and then you, it hovers. No, oh, it really does hover. All right, throw it across the floor, all the way across. Ready, Yo! go. Hurry before the balloon runs out. <laughs> and look, perfume. <clears throat> and you just. <laughs> can you blow it up from the bottom, or do you have to like take the balloon off? Oh yeah, you can. That's actually that's probably not very sanitary. As in, <laughs> you. <laughs> Look like you're like blowing into a brown paper sack there. And you pinch it so that the air doesn't come out. Okay. Oh, like that. Yep. I can blow this thing up huge. Yeah, you can. Like big, like bigger than, way bigger than. Claire, what are you looking at? Claire here left a human this morning, came home a cheetah. <laughs> I mean, cheetah everything. Top, pants, slippers, glasses. Where's your cheetah glasses at? I took them off. Oh, man. You got it? There. Oh, it's there. Ready? Hover, hover. Stand up, little buddy. <laughs> and then you just perfume it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the perfume part. It's the best. I almost called it fur pume. <laughs> okay. That was great. So, one of our kids. No, no. Oh, gosh, right in the eye. <laughs> Carmen just sprayed me this real perfume right in the eye. And I stink. <laughs> Which one of our kids used to call it fur pume? Was that Austin? I think it was Austin. He had a lot of interesting words growing up. <laughs> I smell like fur pume right now. Probably going to all night. Yes, you are. Now I'm going to go outside yeah, and air off. Now I smell like perfume forever. Perfume, like, it doesn't wash out. It doesn't wash out ever? Like, I washed shirts many times and I can still smell perfume from it. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm going to spray your shirts with guys' cologne. Oh, I did the other day and it ruined my favorite shirt. If you wash it enough, it'll come out a couple times. It doesn't stay forever. It stays for quite a while. <laughs> we checked the mailboxes today and we had two pieces of fan mail. Uh, they are from a guy named Kenneth Campalone from Florida. We've got a couple things going on. We're gonna let Terry open this one first and make Owen wait. I open that, just slid it to Terry. Have a gander. It's a beautiful card. It's a happy birthday card. Some flowers on it. It says, I'm so sorry to hear about your grandma. May she rest in peace. <sighs> All the best to you, Terry. Ken. Thank you. Thanks, Appreciate Ken. Appreciate that. We have one more that says happy birthday. It is for my man turning 14 this month on the 19th. March 19th is Owen's birthday. He's got 10 bucks in there. Holy smokes. Atta boy. What's the card say? Owen, best wishes, best? Wishes to you always uh, by Ken. 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 Sorry. He must have remembered your birthday when we talked about it in the intro video because we have not mentioned the kids' birthdays since that day. So that's very impressive, Ken. Thank you very much. Thank you. All the way from the beginning. That was a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago. So what do you say? Thank you. Every time one of our kids has a birthday, I just, I feel old. I feel like time is just flying by. I can't believe that my second baby boy is gonna be 14. And I cannot believe that Austin is turning 16 in three months. So May 10th, Austin's turning 16. It's gonna be epic. Yes, I just used the word epic. So uh, guys, thanks for watching. We love you guys and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow.